is an occasion to actually kickstart partnership between Blessed World Foundation International and Kizik. Blessed World Foundation International is um, a not-for-profit charitable organization. It exists internationally, but this is the Saskatchewan chapter, and I'm the president of the Saskatchewan chapter. We come and they partner with programs like the one Karen is doing to empower the youths to um, achieve a, what we call positive social change through a concept called edutainment. So they try and they, you know they change their notions, they build their confidence, uh, and then they see themselves as um, as not just vulnerable youths anymore, as youths who are quite able. They will feel very happy with themselves when they see themselves on very big screens, not just in Saskatchewan, not just in Canada, and uh, maybe all over the world. And that's why we are partnering with um, King's Prime TV as well. King's Prime TV it, um, is the social media channel, TV channel, uh, that would help portray um, the documentary, the clips we will get. I am in a position where I serve the 74 First Nations here in Saskatchewan. Um, and what that means is I get to see a lot of the pain. I get to go into the homes where there's been suicides, sit with families of people, of our youth that committed suicide. And it's so real and it's so within our reach to make a difference. So I'm very excited about uh, this initiative. With, uh, with Dr. Kingsley. Basically what we are doing is in, in simple form is opportunity for at-risk youth, number one. Number two, discovering their hidden talents. Number three, empowering them through um, giving them recognition on a global level. <laughs> Back to the space, Amiga Living Stories, by Sinead Race. It's so within our reach to make a difference. Okay, my name is Obele, um, Obele Amenya Bensi, aka Obele's Art. I'm the CEO of Obele's Art. There's no other person that's answering Obel's art apart from me, which is number one. Koko Dogu Apapajo, down. Art has been my passion right from day one, right from when I was a kid. And my father always liked criticizing art because uh, art is a art don't bring money. But I believe one thing is that um, when you think nothing can bring money for you, definitely will not bring money for you. But I believe that art can bring millions in one day. And the passion that drives me into art is um, seeing the movement of lines in getting picture out of it. Because some people look lines to be like with no sense in it. But I, I use lines to get shapes out of it, to get beauty out of life. Actually, what I'm doing now is just upgrading what I study because um, what I'm doing now has been my passion right from small. I love drawing, I love playing with pencils, I love playing with charcoals, I love playing even the mod. In the mod, in sense, and in, the, in terms of sculpture, in pencil, in terms of graphics, and clothing, in terms of testers. And I love colors, I love making people feel that they can have their duplicates of themselves, their facial duplicate of themselves on a plain paper. My business I actually derive it from a, a generational name which is Obele. But I have to cut it to be Obeles. That is Obeles means there are many Obeles, but I just use the Obel then put the S, then at follow it because I'm the only one, as I said before, I'm the only one that is CEO of Odell's Art and no one else is CEO of Odell's Art. Yes, yes, yeah. I want to say in Nigeria, I can testify of people in that embrace art. For, for example, my governor, Wiki, 
he actually wrote three arts. Um, I also can testify about my director, uh, Mr. Ebel, which is the film producer and the director. I can testify he loves art very, very, like mad. He loves art like mad. He's a, he's a creative type and I'm also a, I'm a creative person. I love getting um, I love getting results out of um, something that is being condemned. If, if you say art is not generating income, I like make proving to them that art can generate income times two of what you really expect. That is what I believe. What motivates me is uh, it, I will say the truth. It's a movement of that is the magic behind the pencil. That is how the pencil generates your carbon copy on a paper. And how you get picture being translated from the camera, as you're seeing it in camera, down to paper by either manually or by system. That's exactly what motivates. I want to just get that magic. I want to learn that magic, how to translate that picture down to piece of paper. Um, I believe uh, one thing is that um, art is not getting an idea and resting. Art is as you get the idea, you put it down on a piece of paper. You get the idea, you put it down on a pencil. And you get the idea, you put it down on pen. You get the idea, you put it on charcoal, any medium you want to put it in. You don't want to put in your colors, thinking, I want to get this color, I want to achieve this color. Then you have to practice it now in a, either a clothing or either you get in pencils or you get in the crayon. But I choose, I, I, I get my own. Why I motivate that is because I want to. Any idea I just get, I want to make the idea come true, make it real. Like that, you go to bed and, like mostly me, I don't sleep with the empty brain. I sleep with something in my brain. Then the brain only go back and make it cool down. Then when I wake up in the morning, the brain immediately kicks off and everything starts afresh. And that idea I got earlier, I have to document it down so that I won't forget. Or one more idea comes in, I will not overlap the other idea. That is the major thing. Actually, in art, we have so many categories. We have the graphics, we have the textile, we have the sculpture. I'm talking about this part of the sculpture. And if you look at the lemma, the lemma would say, uh, this is not making any meaning. But if it doesn't like the way artists will tell you, uh, you look at it very, very well. This person actually a student. He's trying to read. But since the, the when they ask you what medium do you use, and you say it's wooden, uh, wood medium, which is very, people say it's very hard to achieve. But the uh, artist will say it's very sim the simplest thing to achieve. Because people want, the, the secret is that don't tell them how you achieve it, but give them the final result for them to think deep. To plan with you, uh, how do you achieve this? Then you will not tell them how you achieve it. Not for you showing them the steps and how you achieve it, but instead you tell them how you achieve it. That by getting the result. That is it. I will say, we say artists are crazy. Yes, artists are crazy. Why? Because of their, they are always want to get ideas from every angle they own yourself. Artists are crazy because sometimes why they are saying that because maybe they see some artists and they just doing picking containers, but the question they they forget to ask is what would they do with these containers? And um, if we produce something with these containers, there I see the one that will still buy it from us again. That means indirectly we are both crazy because if I'm going to just be picking the container, then you, you are buying it also picking up the container in your own house too. So in the idea, I, I believe that people saying that they may not have the idea why they are doing that. The question they have to ask, they need to ask, why are these people picking this or why are they doing this? Why are they acting so crazy? Because ideas nowadays now, I some idea people have now is like, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to make it real. That is why most of these artists are very crazy. One in terms of how they stain their separate paints, how they rough their separate pencils, charcoal on their face. Yes, if you go to Canada's, they paint their faces and you don't call them mad. Uh, what is a question? Uh, in my own aspect, in obvious art as a as a as a business and name, I would say what making what gives me satisfaction is me delivering my work, my drawings on time. 
if the person say this drawing tomorrow, then the person I have to explain to the person that it, he has to make commission, everything to be set before that tomorrow. Like people that people that that my artists that are very, very fast in drawing. They can give you a portrait in less than an hour, they can give you a portrait in less than a day. And what you need to do is just let them know, let them give them their um, commission and they will give you exactly what you want. And the major thing that I make to go into this business, into this um, business is one, artists does not just draw. They draw and your facial expression also give them another inspiration. Because sometimes someone that is sad, you can convert their picture, the person's picture, to the person that was smiling. So that alone can motivate people to say, okay, I love this guy's way of doing things. Even I'm not smiling, it makes the picture look as if I'm smiling. That is a real capture of it. Yeah, I would say in some areas of Nigeria, arts are really booming the over there. Like I was saying, Kaduna, Kaduna, Testa is really going on there very well. Like Oshun, Testa is going on very, very well. I would also say in uh, Uniport itself, students are motivated to do more of Testa and sculpture in Uniport as it stands there. Then I can also go down to Unio, where I did my schooling in Unio. I can testify that sculpture and test how the graphics are really going on very very well there and people are buying works in massive in that part of area that is south south and not only south south not but test the material you tie every day the material you buy every day the wrapper you buy every day that's the battery you buy every day it's come from kaduna and osho state direct because they do tie mostly tie and die and batik designs that's why i said and the art is really selling in nigeria And inspiration, I got it from uh, a very, very um, a, a program that they say all artists, all 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 little children are um, artists. Uh, I got my inspiration from when I was um, in primary five, where I watch a program every three o'clock in a yesterday, when they would tell all children and artists. That's what I think my inspiration from. I started drawing by using a box, and they teach me how to draw by using a box, and from box. I can create cars from the box, I can create human beings from the box, I can create massive things from the box. That's why I said, let me go extra man to go up another one. I was in JS3, then I started going out of the box. I started using shapes, using angles, using triangles, using lines to get human form. That's why I know that I, I'm actually going to the direction of my dream. How am I going to ask for <laughs> So when you ask what I have done and I have achieved is mostly pencil and mostly pencil works and also a sculpture works. But I will, I, will, I will say I have achieved more in wooden work, which I, I have with my boss on top that is, I'm always working on that. Even if I have my own company, I still work on that because there was not the end one place. There was not to continue. So I still work under my boss that is a woodpecker. And I also love his creativity and I derive my creativity from there because he, he gets design from nowhere. It doesn't give you a design that is already made. It gives you a design that is not even made, that is not even existing. That's why I derive my inspiration from there. I give designs that is not even made. Then my major work I do mostly is pencil work and wooden work. In terms of production of couch, production of bed, production of um, seats, uh, office stand, every other uh, wooden, that's the concerning wooden. I'm always there. The first artwork, uh, I started um, my, uh, started my first artwork, I want SS, SS2, and I actually sold it. I sold it um, in a very huge amount of money. But you know, back then, when you're in boarding school, they were not allowed to work pocket money, they will say, it's your, it's your money, okay, school will for you. And we already know the money has entered voice me. But I believe that uh, my first artwork when I was a student, I sold in a massive amount. And the person that bought it was my director of my school. And he bought in a very massive amount. And my, uh, that was my first achievement when I was small. And uh, that's how uh, I made part of it. And in terms of fear, uh, every business I would say has fear. But in my own aspect, my own fear is um, 
one um, being the best because everybody wants to be the best everybody wants to be the, over there on top and me i will not want to be under i also want to be on top so you being on top you have to be more evidence to your items so you want to be more evidence to your soup but i say even they cook all the soup without the ingredients if you don't put salt salt is a major to not give the test so i want to be there and the major my major fear is another artist overtaking me and i cannot allow an artist that i must rule an artist to overtake me but we're using only one medium so i have to learn all angles of all mediums to get what i want to get in life what keeps me going every day what keeps me going every day drawing keeps me going every day i draw i draw anywhere i am i draw even the bus even where i'm traveling i have a little sketch but i always have my own i do i put i put this sketch for schools secondary schools to help them tell you that there is three meeting buying a sketch pad i don't meeting producing your own sketch by yourself to suit your taste so everywhere i go i just keep drawing any scenario i see i just keep drawing and like using interpretation i like interpreting a scene on a sketch up on a paper so i can have a future as an imaginative uh, thinking of any event maybe i have a capture today that i went to asaba and i saw this on the road and i'll put it down my sketch pad if i saw i go to someone i said this is like this is where i went to and this is how the place looked like but it's okay you have a story of where you, where you went to and that will give you an album of actually how you're telling your story that's why that's exactly what i'm in i want to be and i want to achieve that's like in the next five years that's why i said i want to be the best artist so one in terms of i'm trying international artist because let's say you think they have been working for years because they draw here and you they send to net i got to discover something that uh, the white people draw actually most of the ideas are there is the black ideas so we really download your ideas and interpret it to their own so you are just making the raw material and they are doing the finished material for you so what i think that the main the main thing is happening in the us so i think I finish from here, and then the company might go bigger. Here. In five years time, I'm not. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be an international artist. That will be a massive work of 12 feet, 6 feet, 11 feet work. That is a uh, human form, a full human form. That is my five years target. This achievement is um being what nobody think I will be. I've uh, been an artist, because I'm the only one in my family that's an artist. My father actually condemned it, because he said there's no fun in it, and there's no money in it. So, me being an artist and me being known, in the media I go as an artist, I think that's the achievement I've achieved. At least I have done, I have able to prove him wrong that even if I'm an artist and I like an engineer, I can still be heard outside, even if I'm not. I'm not too sure. You must must have cars, but you must be known. Your personality that always tells you out. You can always shoot you out. That is the, my greatest achievement. Yes, 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 yes and my gallery is where I can have all my works and people coming in, chipping in from every part of the uh, earth to come and I will see something unique from every artwork I do. And I am doing that gallery now will make me be more, more inspir inspiring to people that want to join art. Because there are many people that want to join art, but due to I want to be an engineer, engineer, they have mansion, then they have cars, doctors. We want to have a title. Artists don't have a title. All of they call you is an artist. Artists don't even have to do you call you doctor, Mrs. No. They rather they just call you, they call you artist. So because the artists don't have a title, so they want to run into a doctor, they want to run into a honorable, they want to run into a counselorship. So me, I don't run into that. I'm not a politician. So artist is my calling, and that's what I tell you. And my company, I'm very sure that my company will be the best when it comes to five years time. 
because I'm really working on that. And I want to make sure God make the earth, make it happen in the name of Jesus. Okay. Well, give me the fulfillment because um, my mother is uh, one, 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 my mother is my one inspiration I got from my mother. Despite the whole challenges, despite the whole downfall, she still strives to sell because um, they say business is not only when you have shop. <clears throat> business can also be where you are and be selling. My mother is a person that she doesn't have a business um, market, she doesn't have a business shop, but she sells. What I mean sells is that she has farm from vegetables, she cut from a farm. When she, when she joined the market, I tell you, she knew everything is sold off. What I what I live to everything is sold off. So I just let me say I can if I can remember I can do this with just ordinary vegetables. Why can't I do that in my own artwork? So I can use my own time to do that. So I just remember my mother had to tell me some skills how to do it. You know, it must must be out there. Just be where you are. You have your social media, you have your Facebook, you have your WhatsApp, you have your Instagram. Do and post, do and post, do and post. People call you. People call you, please, I need so and so way of drawing in my own form. Give me the way I want it. But when you give them the first time the way you want, they want it, I bet you in the next few weeks, they keep calling your number, keep calling your number. Everybody like that thing. So me, I like that thing. So I want to eat the money. I'll give them what they want. My challenges that I counter is mostly getting materials. Because nowadays, material, Nigeria now, material is increasing every day by day. Money keep adding every day by day. And challenges number one is materials. And once there is no material, there is no drawing. And once there is no drawing, there is no customer. And once you lose the customer, that means you have a downfall of your business. And to keep everything, to keep everything now going forward, you have to have your materials steady and steady and keep supplying so i think my major uh, challenges which i will not say my major because i know god is always making everything easy for me i will say materials and materials and god is actually providing for my company i will say to them yeah, do not give up on your talent uh, drawing is a talent art is a talent the, according to what I always um, uh, I, I appreciate Nigeria for, there is no way there is no way you will be in Nigeria that palliative is not there. So uh, once it's palliative, you know that there is hope. So art is the best palliative because uh, even when there is a downfall of Nigeria, even when there is starvation of Nigeria, artists are very very artists say that artists is hungry. No, artists keep drawing and you still pay them. And when you pay them, they still enjoy their money. But they say palette, palette, palette. But this art is the best palette for now. And I think well, as the best advice I will give to the graduates outside there, the ones that want access, is don't give up. Don't give up time. Keep drawing. Someone will hear your voice one day. Someone will see you one day. And when they see you, you can make the salary of a banker in five months in one day. So just keep drawing, keep drawing, keep drawing. Keep producing sketchpad, keep producing drawing sketchpad, and you'll see that you'll make it to the top with a you think of an eye. I do that educated and better talented. But I'm not educated, but I'm talented. The advice I will give to them is um, in Nigeria, I will not say don't go to school. I will say go to school. Go to school, but don't don't let um, the school take away your talent from you. Your talent is to improve your talent by using the school as a medium. Um, actually, I had this talent uh, drawing ever since I was a kid, and I just used the school to improve my talent to make my hands stronger. So, if I'm not educated, I will not say don't go to school. Go to school. But if you know you cannot afford your school, I will say use your talent to get your funds to go to school. Because if you don't have the funds, you will not definitely go to school. But definitely you have to use your talent to get the phone. Once you have the phone, you can boost up to school. And in case you think that uh, you, you play with a lot of art, art is a lot of things. You can make art, you can make beauty out of nature with art. So just believe in your talent. Don't give up your talent. That was say to those that are not educated. But those that are educated, please use your art to make your money. 
art there is money in art so definitely use art to make money my final working for art there is uh, <laughs> um, the only thing you do God is number one because God owns everything and even God is an artist for God creating you and creating your human form that means God is a sculptor and a sculptor is a person that made things out of clay so indirectly God is an artist so I'm now I'm very proud of being an artist and you just should be proud of being an artist because if God can make you his own image that means you are also an artist because God, I can create you I can create any art in on earth but God also gave us the power to also name things so definitely I'm also an artist to name my own work that I drew so the um, the others I'll give to and the last word I'll give to you people is you out there don't give up don't give up I will say don't give up improve your talent your talent is to draw everybody has their own pattern of drawing everybody has their own unique if you can shade, use your shading to make your money. If you can art, use your acting to make your money. I'm not only an artist, I'm also a still photographer. People will ask me why we still go up with me so artists. Yes, we still photographer is in the graphics work. So it's the same thing as being an artist. You are doing an art in the photographing form. So I'm all around. So you just try to merge up with the situation in ground in Nigeria and you see that you make it before you know it. You will be up there. You can win 22,500. Surprise, right? Yes, you! With 1,000 Naira, you can win 22,500. 15,000 Naira. And 7,500 respectively. You can also play other categories and win. Another question on your face How is that possible? Let me log into www.nextworkfoundation.com slash bathroom I'll call the number showing on the screen right now. So buy from any of our agents on nationwide. No! All winners will be announced every fortnight on this social media All the nation and put to go to our community. Oh my! There's something that I just remember. The amazing thing about this is every ticket you buy. You have one month free subscription on King's Prime TV where you can watch unlimited Hollywood movies. Oh my god. What are you waiting for? I am going to get my King's Prime TV Entertainment. Church. My name to remain is uh, Obele Amenya Bensi, aka Obele Art, Obele's Art. And um, just keep watching, keep watching, keep watching Entertainment's Corner. If you miss one, you'll miss half of your life. And you know, half of your life, that means you have only one bar remaining. So imagine your one bar finished. Let me say, nothing there for you again. Just you know, say so you're having the go. But just keep watching, keep watching Entertainment's Corner on. King's Brain TV and everything will go smoothly. And when you want to get ideas, don't go far, just come to King's Brain TV. And every day they'll give you new ideas, new two thoughts, new thoughts, and new, new inspirations to make everything random. Thank you. God bless you. In Africa and beyond, more and more people are finding King's Prime TV a rich hub for entertainment. With a monthly subscription fee as low as $7.99 US, you too can enjoy seamless, world-class HD entertainment that will inform, educate, entertain, and enthrall you. Join us today. Visit KingsPrimeTV.com to enter into a whole new dimension of entertainment. King's Prime TV. Entertainment just the way you like it. <laughs>